everyone, Age Graceful here. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. It is April 27th. It's a Friday afternoon. I had today off and I had a doctor's appointment. And so after my doctor's appointment, I decided I would take this day to kind of clear the clutter. So what I mean by that, I don't know how many of you all, I'm sorry for the noise, my son is outside uh, with the uh, leaf blower trying to clean up a little bit, but I don't know how many of you all uh, use your bedrooms as your office, your entertainment space, your sleep space, your changing room and storage area well I do so during the past few weeks I've been super busy dealing with both channels and working so I kind of got a little bit behind so what I want to do today is spend some time in my room and reorganize and change my uh, bed linens I got a nice uh, new comforter set so I want to get this on my bed. So I'm going to strip my bed down, get reorganized. All of this mess was not created in a day. So I'm sure it's going to take me some time to do it. It is uh, approximately 1.30 in the afternoon. So I'm going to see how long it takes. I am going to fast forward through a portion of it, but this is just to get me started and let you guys know what I'm doing. So, stay with me. Okay. I just want to show you this really quick and turn it right side up. This is a steer light container. Uh, you can get these uh, from Walmart for about uh, $22, $24, something like that. So what I want to do is like clean off the tops of my bedside table and my dresser. I'm tired of looking at all that stuff and I'm going to store it away in the, this is a three drawer steer light container. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it yet, but after I make up my bed, then I'll decide. So I'll just set it here on the floor for now. Heating pad for my feet at night and the cover. We're kind of getting into the season where I don't need that. So I'll just put this to the side for now. I was paying a few bills before I started this, so I had a bill or two on my bed. My bed is like a desk. I have this corner over here where I keep uh, mail that comes in or things that I need to do immediately. So I have two stacks. I'll go through these later. have my buddies. Laptop one, I sleep with. Laptop two, I sleep with. And oh 
Yes, there's a third laptop up under the bed. So I'm going to get these out of my way. And I usually store those under the foot of my bed. I don't like to leave them in the bed when I'm at work. they could become hot or warm and then um, maybe a fire could start. I definitely don't want that. So this blanket is going to be laundered. This is another blanket that keeps me warm that's going to be laundered. And uh, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to adjust the camera. The blanket that's on my bed, I absolutely love. It's uh, sequins. I thought it was so pretty <laughs> when I bought it. But this thing hurts. These sequins hurt. So I don't even sleep under it. So I'm going to remove that. See if I can get my camera back in place. It's a beautiful blanket, but it hurts. And then I have my crystal chandelier, which I uh, need to probably take a day uh, to clean this. Uh, it's a little cloudy or dusty so I'll probably get uh, Mr. G to uh, help me with that because I'll have to stand in the bed in order to uh, clean that chandelier I wanted a, a small chandelier to make the room look romantic and so I found this one at a Home Depot for about $130 and I had my son to put it up for me. The chain was twice as long, which means that it could have hung down to here, which would probably look pretty uh, in a dining room right over a table. But for a bedroom, I decided, no, we needed to clip that chain and bring the height up some. So that's what I so this will be laundered and I'll probably will give this blanket maybe to the Goodwill somebody. It will make somebody else's bedroom look absolutely gorgeous just like it did mine. Um, when I repainted this room, it was in 2015 right before my mom passed away and she was never able to come over and see after I had painted the room and got my new bedroom uh, or bed I should say so I took some pictures and I was able to show her those pictures so my uh, goal is to make this room look just like it did in 2015 before my mom passed away. So now I'm removing my sheet. This is going to be laundered. And then I have a second sheet on top of my mattress. I didn't buy a, a, a mattress cover. They tend to be a little bit pricey. So I just took an old flat sheet that I was not using and I used that for my mattress cover and it's a whole lot less expensive. So I'm just going to tighten this down so it doesn't move. 
then I have a brand new set of sheets that I um, got on a nice discount from Amazon, but I had to review the sheets. So I think I purchased the sheets in 2015 as well. Let me get those out of my linen closet. pillowcases. I probably will give uh, these items to my son to use in his room. I just want the sheets out of here. Or the fitted sheet, I should say. Just the one. In that corner over there, I have my printer and I just have a towel thrown across it to uh, the dust off of it. Uh, you tend to get a lot of dust where there's clothing and blankets and sheets, so I don't want it to malfunction because of that. So, just using uh, a towel kind of helps to eliminate all that dust from settling on your uh, appliances and devices. I hope I have this sheet going the right way. Okay, I do. And it almost looks black as I put it onto my bed. It's real pretty. Plum color. All I know is that it's clean and fresh and it's time for spring cleaning. That's what we're doing today. Okay. This fits very well. The corners have deep pockets. If it's one thing that I absolutely uh not like is for uh, a sheet to pop off when you're sleeping, um, especially if you pay good money for your sheets. Okay, I'm going to pause for a moment and then I will be back to show you what this comforter set looks like. Hey guys, I am back. It's been a long afternoon. As you can see, the room is starting to get dark. So this process did take me some time. I'm still not totally done because I want to go through all my dresser drawers and clean out clothing that I'm not using. But at least I got the bed done and I got some things done organizational wise. So, um, I did take a little break with Mr. G and we went to get some Panda Express, so I can't wait. When I'm done taping this video, I'm going to get my Panda Express and I'm going to relax and enjoy that. And since you're watching me right now, I'm going to come and watch you when I get ready to relax and see what you guys have got going on. So, the new comforter that I got, I just picked it up from Walmart. Um, it's a jacquard print. It's a seven piece uh, comforter set. So I got a king size comforter, even though my bed is queen because I like for it to hang over a little bit more uh, just to cover, uh, not down to the floor, but I didn't want to cover up 
the uh, pretty part of my bed because I had mirror on the uh, end of my bed on the opposite end of the headboard so I wanted that to show so I did not use the bed skirt that came with it and uh, what else I got in the package was two king size pillow shams for the uh, king size pillows and then I got three decorative pillows I have four on the bed now, but I'm opting to still use my small um, sequined decorative pillow from the sequin set that I showed you earlier, that blanket. So I'm just going to put a little bit of light on the subject so that you can see this bed spread. Okay, there's my light. So I'm going to turn my camera so you guys can see this bed spread and how this came out and it's uh, mixed with a gray and a very very faint dusty blue which kind of plays off uh, the paint and things on my walls and on uh, my curtains that I have hanging and you can see um, the decorative pillows here they're kind of cute one has pleats, one has, um, what do you call that? It's not ruffle, oh goodness, it's gathers, like gathers. And then this one has just got a little print on it that kind of matches the print on the uh, pillow shams. And it's relatively heavy. You can't see through it. And it's lined on the opposite side. So um, it should be nice and warm. If it gets too heavy, then I'll switch to something else as the uh, weather starts to warm up. I also got my Sterilite container filled up. And as you can see in the bottom drawer there, I have... Uh, I have some colognes and lotions that I have not opened yet in the bottom drawer. And then in the second drawer, I have colognes and lotions and deodorants that are open that were kind of like cluttering uh, my dresser top and my nightstand top. And then on top here, I just kind of kept it simple. I have a a desk lamp, uh, USB, my USB charging station, and I have um, just an organizer where I keep my Kindle and my phones back there. And off to the side here, I have a picture of Mr. G and myself. This picture is from circa 2013, and we went to a uh, uh, dinner, banquet, dance, charity for uh, underprivileged uh, children and adults. And they had that every March, so we enjoy going to that. So that was in 2013. So this is all I've done for today. I am going to uh, probably tomorrow or the next day uh, get back into things and finish up with the clothes portion organizing uh, the clothes because I need to get rid of a lot of things things that I have not been wearing I want to give it to somebody who might benefit from it so that I can put away what I am still wearing Okay, I appreciate you watching. Again, this comforter set from Walmart is the mainstays uh, brand. And uh, it's fair uh, for Walmart. It freshened up the room and I like that. Okay, thanks for watching. You guys have a good evening. Bye now.